All right, here's the score. 736 marijuana plants, nearly a quarter million dollars in cash and more. Michigan State Police say that's just some of what was confiscated during those multiple raids yesterday. They say the drug ring operating across four counties. And Action News reporter Kimberly Craig tells us why the guys who were arrested are back out on the street right now. You know, only a few people in the neighborhood knew that was, this was going on. Just a day after a police narcotics team raided this Detroit warehouse at a number of other locations, this man who claimed to know someone he said was an owner was out here picking up leftover pot. What are you going to do with that? I'm going to analyze for the community to see what they've been putting in it. Because obviously some of this has hit the street. Couldn't it just be just plain old weed? There's no such thing as plain old weed. Well, what do you mean? This was a treatment plan. Michigan State Police is leading the investigation into what they call a marijuana trafficking operation that reached from Wayne and Oakland counties to Washtenaw and Jackson. And just a day after at least five people were arrested, we're told they've been released pending further investigation. Action News did some digging and found out that just a few months ago, a 33-year-old man from Troy bought one of the warehouses raided. We're told he paid $45,000 cash. His mother and a woman we believe was his wife refusing to answer any questions when contacted by Action News. Meanwhile, it seems people have come to at least this one warehouse looking for scraps. But this man claims he's only securing it to have it tested. These are plant leaves, but we're going to have analyzed. Now, why would you have them analyzed? You know that's weed. No, I want to see what they've been putting in it. That's, that's what I, I'm doing it for a private person. In Detroit, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. It's kind of a community activist kind of thing. In addition to more than 700 marijuana plants, police also seized a large quantity of processed marijuana, eight guns, and 31 vehicles. Also froze a total of 14 bank accounts. And we're told the investigation is continuing.